Hello, my name's Alex Novarese. I'm the editor of Legal Week magazine, and I'm here with Bill Knight, who in addition to a long and distinguished legal career, is also chair of the judging panel for this year's British Legal Awards. And Bill has joined us today to talk a little bit about what the judges will be looking for from entrance, and just as important, what to avoid. Thanks, Bill. It's a pleasure, Alex. I think probably this is the culmination of my career. <laughs> <laughs> First question, let's start with the obvious. What's the, the best thing that applicants can do to stand out? I think what we're really looking for is, a, is something that's compelling, something that's um, written in plain English, tells the tale clearly and simply, and backs it up. Too many firms say we're the leading firm, but they don't tell us why. Uh, of course, they never tell us who they regard as the opposition. That seems to be the great taboo. But even without that, tell us why you're, you're the best firm at something. And don't just tell us about big deals. You get a big deal because you're lucky enough to have a client who's got one. Tell us what you brought to the party. Tell us why that deal, that transaction, that bit of service was different and uh, stood out from the pack. How many uses of the words global law firm did the judging panel have to see? Yes, yeah, quite. Everyone's global, everyone's leading, everybody is, you know. These, I mean, to some extent, they, they are, these, we regard these as the estate agent's particulars. Actually, you do have to look round the flat. <laughs> There's no doubt about it. We, we need to, a little bit more. Um, something from the client would be nice. And, and we'd like to think that we're providing a service to our clients, or we, that the lawyers are providing a service to their clients. So we'd like to know what it did for the client. It may have been a wonderful transaction from a legal point of view, but did the client achieve its aims? What were their aims, and did they get them? Um, having said all that, um, I do enjoy chairing the judges. You do see the width of the profession and the massive amount of work we do, and the effect it has on the economy, and that's really great. And how good generally were law firms at articulating areas where they actually added value or, or made like, clients' lives easier? Well, the winners were good, but an awful lot of firms gave us what I um, would regard as sort of brochure speak, um, and it, it, it didn't really penetrate the ordinary adjectives about how good we are. We, we, we'd like some facts, we'd like some clarity. Um, occasional, uh, lawyers take themselves terribly seriously as well, and, and sometimes that's a mistake, actually. Um, this is a, a straightforward business we're in, in many ways, um, let's hear about it. And above all, let's hear what value you added for the client. So what were the most common failings? Where did law firms or, or in-house lawyers fall down most on applications? Um, most, I, I felt that one of the main areas that they fell down was just telling us that they'd done a series of major transactions. Um, and that didn't really tell us why they were better lawyers than the next firm. Um, if you're lucky enough to get instructions on a major transaction, that's great. And of course it says something about you, that the client's prepared to trust you with a transaction of that nature. But many large transactions can actually be quite straightforward. What did you bring to the party? What was difficult? What looked difficult at the start? How did you solve it? Did you solve it through your experience, through your know-how, through your brain power, through your hard work? Let us in to the secret of why you think these particular deals make you stand out in your category, or this particular service that you offer is different from the competitors. And what about supporting material? What, what's the most effective? Uh, a, short, a short quote from the client, which shows what value was added and how much they appreciated the service. There's no doubt about it that that does ring a bell, um, because um, that shows that the client was prepared to go on record and say this was a good job. Was that something that people were achieving commonly in the entries? No, I don't think they were really. Some, some did, um, but often they didn't. Um, and it's a pity um, because obviously a bit of third party backup does add credibility to what is, for the judges, a, a paper exercise. Do you think that's because firms would struggle to get that kind of uh, citation or because they just didn't think of it? I suspect, the, I hope it's because they didn't think of it. And it leads back to saying that. Um, you know, we're providing a service, and I think that really, you know, we should try to see it from the client's point of view, not just from the lawyer's point of view. What about the general standard of entries from in-house lawyers in general counsel? Any particularly stand out? Um, one that, um, well, 
one that stood out for me, um, is the legal department that was most closely involved with the business, actually. Uh, worked day to day with the business um, and told us clearly how they added value and help to the business. Uh, that was very important um, when looking at in-house um, legal departments. Some in-house legal departments were just content to tell us what a great company they worked for. And that wasn't the point for us. We wanted to see what the legal department did. What they could bring to the table. Absolutely. How about jargon? How did law firms score in terms of plain English? Um, not too great, actually. Um, many entries would be improved if they were written in, forgive me, but in a journalistic style, um, a straightforward English style. I don't hear that very often. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, no, I think that, of course, most of the judges have been lawyers so long, we don't recognise jargon when we see it anymore. It's been burned into our brains. But uh, I think a truly jargon-free entry would certainly stand out. And what's it like managing, there's 18 people on the judging panel, what's it like managing those personalities? It's great, it's great fun. People take it seriously, um, they've read their papers uh, carefully, um, and they bring a considered judgement to the, the table, uh, and we try to enjoy it as we go, and I certainly enjoy it very much. Okay, any, any final tips you'd give to people on making those entries? Follow the rules, Leap out? follow the rules, that's always a good start. What were the ones that got broken the most? Length. Length? Yeah. Yeah. Just a thousand words, isn't it? That, that's, that's it. The, the keep, keep, keep to that and make each one of those thousand words count. Back it up a bit if you can. Convince us. Paint a compelling picture. What was the longest? I can't remember. Uh, I can't remember. I probably didn't get to the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks very much for your time, Bill. And thank you for the viewers on this video. And I hope many of you will join us on the 3rd of December when the winners will be announced. Thanks. <laughs>